next on Madden Football. So the ball will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets to take over. Looking to throw it away. Pick it. One play him up past the 40, Letty, and another first 10. Now pick it. Complete before territory. Back to back good lane. Have him on the move on first down. Pick it. Look to throw it. Accept it. They're nearly an open team. Second and 10. They run play fake. Here's push. Seven yards down. Pick it now to throw a play fail. They pop you into the start of this next possession. The score seven nothing. They'll just drive out a take. Successful start. The team yards and moves the stick. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Off play fake. Here's a bucket answer player. Oh boy, that's the quarterback. Kenny Pickett. After what? Well, it's unfortunate to see injury, especially this close to the end of the week. Taken down there after eight yards. They need a crafty play card here. 14 yards is what they need to convert this thing. Now on third of them, they'll look to do down as a 10 43. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 43. Locks throw brought in by Austin. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Lock now on first down. That's going to be caught. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. 23 yards on the play. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and... And he's in! Touchdown, Pittsburgh! Ready. The offense set to take the field here as they have the football in the final minute of this first quarter. They shakes him off. You look at this defense for Tampa Bay. They were very strong last week in the win over Carolina. Yeah, they gave up 17 points, but that's about what you consider the break-even mark. You give up 17 points a game all year long, you're thinking you're going to be a playoff team. That's what we're looking for. Room to improve, of course. Pretty nice effort. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Here's Locke to throw. That is caught. And a big game that time. He's out of bounds on what will be the final play of this first quarter. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. On play action. Lock. That would all intercepted but it's incomplete not a good throw there and it'll be second down and the Steelers at 11 and 3 on the year and they've certainly found their groove of late winners of five in a row and this team is absolutely playing their best football right now this is the best that we've seen them play in a long time partner sky's the limit as far as they're concerned their confidence really soaring now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions from the gun, it's Locke. And that's incomplete. And based on my math, they've only converted one time thus far in this game, so you can see the frustration starting to come out a little bit. Third downs, they've been a problem for them all game. They've got to start becoming solutions. Boswell's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So three points there, and they continue to... The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. 
Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here, they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now, the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it, and he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. 27 yards there, a first down. First down, Pittsburgh. They fake the handoff, now lock. He finds his man, complete. That's Mullins. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Lock now to throw. Touchdown! Pat Fryermuth. With a little over two minutes to play in the second quarter, the offense gets ready to take over. Here's a fake on the jet sweep, and instead a give up the middle. And a short gain here as he gets it up only to about the six. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll send you across state to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman will have all the stats and all the scores from games going on during another busy Sunday in the National Football League. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line. Of they just add to their totals. But not much defensive resistance on that drive. And really, Charles, the way this offense has been humming, they haven't faced much defensive resistance the entire... The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. Well, they came into this one with a vision, Charles, and it has played out exactly as they had hoped, if not even better. They've got the huge lead here. and Trying to get it to Robinson, and it's intercepted. And they have possession, and they have it at the third... Well, this game, it was well in hand early, never really in doubt. Charles, you and I do so many games together. There's so much parity in the NFL, a lot of close battles. This was not one. Tip your cap to them for a really impressive effort. Yeah, and you know, as the game went on, I think the defense kind of got together and said, you see our guys on offense, they're just putting up point after point. We need to leave our mark somehow, too, and they did it, pitching a second-half shutout. So for Pittsburgh, the wins keep coming as this one moves them to 12 and three on the year. And they'll have another road date next week with the Cincinnati Bengals. Meanwhile, for the Bucs, it's a tough blow to their playoff aspirations as they drop to nine and six. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gaud. have been watching the NFL on EA Sports.